I want to thank the wonderful, amazing, irreplaceable Stevie Lynn for supporting this video. Thank you so much, Stevie Lynn, for being one of our patrons and sharing us with love and support there. We really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully being called an effervescent nomkin. That's a big word. I don't really know what it means, but I think it means a good thing. Uh, <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good plus for you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, Stevie Lynn. I really, really do. Uh, and Chris and too, of course. We also want to shout out our wonderful, fantastic, beautiful producer, Alice. Join us at the end of this month for some Resident Evil uh, Survivor? No, not Survivor. Outbreak. The one multiplayer one. We'll be playing that at the end of the month on Twitch. Make sure you're following us. Link in the description. And follow Alice's links on screen right now to make sure you don't press Outbreak at the end of the month. Oh my god, it's going to be so numb. Outbreak file 2. Anyway, thank you for listening. And here is a playthrough of a really... Fucking great indie game that I absolutely loved. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, this is Dracula Awakens, which seems to be a cross between Fatal Frame and, well, Dracula. Uh, let's check it out, shall we? We're going to not skip the intro. We play as a servant in the intro. I did test it out a little bit. We're going to set the scene. It's already midnight. I need to check if Dracula needs anything. All right, so uh, lovely dormitories here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't in here. I didn't go in here when I was playing around earlier. Oh, apparently I did. Excellent. Anyway, we need to go and see Dracula. I wonder if he still has these ideas. He's been quiet for a few days. I like the fact we appear to be holding a stick of dynamite, by the way, rather than a torch in our hand, which is quite impressive. I know it isn't a stick of dynamite, Otherwise, we'd be dead. But it's very funny to labour under the delusion that it is. It is time to continue with the plan and take the next step to build my army. I can't do a vampire voice. What about the servants? They clearly do not support our desire to destroy humanity. I don't blame them. No one would support the extinction of their own food. This is why we must kill the remaining servants and build our loyal army. <clears throat> we will do it when the time comes. I knew it. He wouldn't be killing his servants little by little for no reason. It's better to leave another letter in the cleaning room to warn the others they should run away. The cleaning room's on the right of the dormitory. It should be open by now. But anyway, um... It's like we got a job for a uh, face-eating leopard, and now we are doing, like, the surprise Pikachu face that the, that the fucking uh, leopard wants to eat our face. <laughs> I still have the occasional coughs when I'm talking now, guys, but I am feeling, for the first time, like my voice might recover from all this shit. Which I am very happy about, obviously. But I'm also surprised by it. This should be it, I think. It is a good place to leave the letters. Dracula's disgusted by everything that comes from humans. What, is this from where they shit or something? Oh, I should go down to the catacombs and hide the crystal shards to buy more time. This cannot be the end of our species. Alright, so where the fuck are the catacombs? Also crystal shards? I do not know what crystal shards are. Well, I mean, I know what they are. Like, as a definition, I could tell you what a crystal shard is, but I don't know the relevance in this situation. Alright, so if I was a catacomb... Where would I go? What the fuck is this? Alright, that's locked. Alright, so this area is off limits for now, okay. That's fine, I just wanna, like, I just don't know where the catacombs are, so it's gonna take a bit of time to find. I, I've, there seems to be, like, mostly positive reviews for this game, like, a lot of people seem to quite like it. Um, I don't know if some of the puzzles are going to prove to be challenging. I saw a few complaints about the puzzles on the Steam forums. But, I mean, I'm going to be honest... Hi. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, are you going to leave me to the catacombs? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean shit. You're not going to leave me to the catacombs, are you? What an asshole.
But yeah, like some, I'll, I'll, I'll sometimes read reviews for a game and they'll be like, the best, this is the best, this is the best fucking game I have ever seen in my life. I want to mount it, okay? And then I'll play it and it'll just be trash. Not to say this is trash, I, I, I've no idea. Like, it's way too early on for me to, be able to gauge what I think of this at the moment. Like, I feel like I should be looking for a staircase going downwards. You know? Well, I'll be back when I find the catacombs. It might take me... Oh, actually, no, I won't, because there's a ladder right here. That's very convenient. You right, George? You lost weight. I'm guessing Dracula's gonna stop us, question mark. Not entirely sure why I did that. Oh. Aurelia, is that you? What are you doing here? I can't hide what I'm doing. I think the best thing to do is to activate the portal and try and push her inside. What portal? I'm guessing I'm being chased by Lilith at the moment, by the way. Like, I don't know, but that would be my, like, assumption here. The portal to what? Are the vampires, like, alien vampires? Aliens? God, that actually scared the shit out of me. I jumped a fucking mile. Throw the stick of dynamite at her. That's what you should have done. I actually jumped there. You could see you could probably see my mouse like twitch. It's quite rare that something gets me. I'm gonna be honest. But that did get me. I seem to have infinite stamina at least. At least as this character. I don't know about everyone else. Oh. We're missing one of the crystals, right? Great. It must be where she was, unfortunately for me. Fuck. All right, I got crystal. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think she definitely saw me there. I think I have all the crystals now, though. Not a fan of the annoying fucking music. Jesus Christ. This game had pretty good accessibility options, by the way, for, uh... Are you fucking kidding me? It didn't pause when I was doing that. Wow, that was a good death, though. Holy shit. I'm glad I saw that. I'm guessing I have to do this all over again. That was, uh, something. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. And by that I mean I don't know how I feel about the game not pausing when you're doing an inventory thing. I feel like that's like a pretty basic thing. Though I think I should expect a challenge from this, because, like, I was looking at what the dev, um, like, put in the description and stuff, and it was like, save points, no baby saving everywhere. And I'm like, well, it's not really baby, it's just like, you know, what people expect to respect their time in a modern gaming environment. I guess I don't really mind save points, because it, it, it can work to build atmosphere.
Which way did she go? I really hope she didn't go down here. I don't think she did. There we go. I, was, I, I struggled with the UI a bit there. <coughs> I was wondering what her most loyal servant was doing here. And to think that Dracula was trying to spare you. She's gonna kill us now anyway. We'll say the deaths in this are cool. One year later. Do you know what day it is today and what time it is? Saturday noon. Exactly, and since you've been working here for quite some time, you should know that we don't open on Saturdays, much less at noon. Which means I have some bad news, you're fired. Boy, I thought you already arranged this with my aunt. Look, I gave you the job because you're a nephew, but your photos are worse than those of my eight-year-old nephew. I can't take good photos with my camera. You know it's broken, but I could take better photos if you give me a new camera. I already pay your salary and I still have to give you the necessary equipment. What is this? Boss exploitation? What a dick. Just give me one more chance. If I can get a story that sells well, will you let me keep the job? Well, I already have a good story. Did you pick up a copy of the newspaper with Sam's new article? The disappearance story is selling very well. What if I bought something to make that story sell even more? And what can you bring that'll earn me more money? That jacket, the one the immigrant who disappeared was wearing. The immigrant from Sam's story? And how are you going to get the jacket? I doubt it's sold here in our country. I'm going to the castle from the article where they say he disappeared. Hmm, and you believe that story? That's just Sam trying to sell. It's not what he told me, but I can keep my job if I bring the jacket. Okay, you can keep your job if you think you can get the jacket as a journalistic material. But if I were you, I'd start packing my things. Don't forget to look at newspaper in your backpack. It might have some relevant information for your search. <coughs> How do I do that? Inventory? Files? An immigrant man from South America is reported missing last night. According to witnesses, the man named Bram was last seen in a nearby town called Vahina. He was alone. The police are investigating the case. But so far, there are no leads on Bram's whereabouts. The local population believes the missing man was involved with drugs due to his rush and short stay in the city. Police can ask anyone with information about the case to contact authorities. All right. Oh dear. <clears throat> we work for a fucking arsehole. Oh, we have limited film. Human, this is the first and last time I'm warning you. Leave while you can. Eh. Time to start playing the main game. The fireplace is weak. A little water should put out the fire. Okay, so we got like little mini puzzles to solve and stuff. It's a hand with a glowing red eye. I'm guessing they're probably relevant for something that I... Ooh. Ah! How do I take a picture? Ah, there we go. Well, that hurt. All right. So definitely fight or frame-ish. Without the complexity, and to be honest with you, a lot of games that have tried to mimic the complexity of Fatal Frame have, uh, have failed miserably. I've got a dead bat. Isn't that nice? A lot of time, like, there's a few- there's not many good Fatal Frame clones, like, there's Dread Out. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, this could be good. Like, I, like I, it's too early to tell. I am concerned about healing and saving. Excuse me. That's amazing. I just realized this is the toilet. 
I hear someone big. I'm gonna guess a vampire walking around. Oh, this is probably a safe room, right? We've got letter three. Save game. There we go. I took mad damage, though, from that fucking guy. Holy shit. We've got a bucket of water. Oh, I bet we can fill that up and get rid of the uh, fireplace. Um. Oh, we have heals, but only five. I should probably use one. How do I use shit? Oh, right, whatever. Let's leave. Let's read the note three. I discovered the truth about Count Dracula. We were always little servants to him, and I always defended him when the vampires from distant lands said he was going crazy. But today I accidentally overheard the conversation with your wives. They were saying they want to destroy the human race, our food. Now I understand, he didn't go to the Eternity Portal willingly, he was trapped in the portal by a human centuries ago. That explains the rituals performed by them at 4.20pm every day. We've been luring humans with false promises of employment to the castle for months, and we're not allowed to touch any of the humans used in the ritual. Lilith has said that he, he had left of his own free will and that he would call us back to the castle as soon as he returned from his search inside the portal. And so he did. He waited about 1,300 years. It took us hundreds of years to blend the human society surreptitiously, and now he wants to put an end to our efforts. They'll kill me if they find out I know the truth. There aren't many servants left besides me, but I'll try and buy some time so we can all escape. Wow. Deep stuff here. How the fuck do I heal? How do I use items? Settings? Controls? Rebuying controls? Heal is Q. Okay. Light switch is F. That makes sense. Alright. Q. Oh, I'll shove that right down our face. Hell yeah. Alright, so the safe rooms are the rooms where Dracula wouldn't go. Obviously. Let's go back the other way and start clearing out the other areas, I guess, though. Although, can I... The bathtub is covered. Yeah, that's fine. There's, is there no other sinks here? This is a, this is clearly a sink. Well, I wonder if there's like a, if this was a kitchen, right? Maybe there's a tap in the kitchen as well. I'm guessing there are some larger patrolling vampires, by the way, that probably can kill me really easy. But we'll just have to wait and see. Like, is this a kitchen? Like, it seems kitchen-y. I think they're above me. Oh, I can hear Dracula laughing. He went mo ho 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 What a nomkin. He's living his best life, I can't really complain too much. Alright, we'll try and find a water source anyway somewhere. Maybe the fountain or something would work. Everything else is just covered in jam. Oh, hi. Alright, Dracula's a one-hit kill. Wow, what a grumpy baby. Alright, so Dracula... One hit kill. Watching a game with manual saves is uh, is gonna suck a lot. Let's be a hundred percent real here. He also seems to be immune to the camera, which would make sense. Like I'm not overly surprised by this. Oh, it's the quarters. Thermal bottle to keep something warm. Valley frame. Oh my god, there's so many puzzles there's going to be, right? Definitely going to have to keep backtracking to the safe room a lot between getting things done, or you'll lose your mind with the repetition. Well, I will. I don't know about everyone. <laughs> Mirrors for vampires? Are they actually vampires, though? Like The, 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 the servants are as well, it seems, yeah? Because it said like the food source was humans. Yeah, I don't like this. Oh, hi. She's burping. She's probably hungry. Use dead bat. Feed the plant. I could get some acid. Oh, I got it. The thermal bottle. Oh, wow. This is, uh... 
filled bottle. I got acid for something. I'm gonna go back and save. Because that was quite a lot of progress there in a very short space of time. I don't know if Dracula's always in the hall, or if they do move around. Alright, so we have some acid. And we fed the little plant. Henry, that's its name. I know that's not the name of the plant from the Little Trip of Horrors for anyone's like, um, actually, why don't you call it the name of the plant from the Little Trip of Horrors? Uh, I know, I, I am aware that it's not the same. Just for the record. Alright. But I like the name Henry. And basically, what I say goes in my own video, I'm gonna be honest. I wonder if you can kill the other vampires. It's a giant bat. Oh. Aha! Ah. Oh, fuck you. That was bullshit. Got nommed on by a fucking uh, ghost. Fill bucket. Alright. We might, if we die, we'll just redo this bit because I took the damage anyway. Because I was an absolute fucking idiot. <laughs> May as well go this way and see what happens anyway. That's where the plant is. I'm guessing there's something else out there, because I heard Pete's while I was outside and laughing. I don't know if there's multiple save rooms or just one. I mean, the castle isn't that big, so... Oh no, there is multiple save rooms. Hmm. I guess a note in each one. Letter one. Uh, here. Our Master Dracula has finally returned to the castle. We are happy to see him again after so long. He is our leader, protector, and lord. I remember the day he left many years ago. He went on a journey through the portal of eternity in search of more power. With his return, I can notice that he's different. More serious, more determined, but he gives us security. He's powerful and cruel against our enemies. Despite everything, I'm happy to have him back with us again. Happy to feel safe again. Okay. Right, let's go and put the fire out. As we just saved. Not too happy about taking that damage, but it is what it is. Oh, fuck me. This is a big room. Ah. Are you fucking kidding me? They don't make any fucking sound! Oh god. Oh god! Lilith! You sassy girl, you... <laughs> just fucking bodied me! Holy shit! Just absolutely destroyed me. Alright, so they do walk around. I can't be that mad. Because that was pretty fun. If she comes ah. through here... Are you fucking kidding me? Where did she come from? God, the ghosts are really annoying. Oh, that's too far away. Lilith, where are you? Oh my god, I'm wasting film so much. This seems like an incredibly dangerous room. Gargoyles are doing the architecture like silent witnesses. I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna die, because I don't wanna- like, if this is all the photos I get, right, then I'm pretty fucked. So let's go and get hugged, and then try this one again. But it looks like there's a big puzzle in here, and we probably need to kill out- clear out all the enemies. Before we even try and deal with, like, the greater problems. I wonder if you can kill the wives, like Lilith and stuff. If you can. That'll make life a lot easier. Dracula! Can you come and kill me, please? Oh, I just want to die! Please come and eat my face! Come on. Yeah! That's it. Non-me. There we go. Oh, yeah! 
get right in there. All right, anyway. I'm not going to go through the library at the moment because I feel it's probably super dangerous. Because it's a really big room with a lot to deal with. I wonder if you... I want to try and kill Lilith. Because, like, getting rid of her would be, like, like, make life a lot easier, right? I just don't know how far she is when she's, like... Upset. Oh, this is some kind of puzzle that I don't understand. We'll worry about that in a bit. I've, I've got the valley frame, but I think we need other frames. Are you fucking kidding me, Dracula? You fucking dickhead. You fucking dickhead! <laughs> Guess we're going this way. It's actually why it makes me more. I want, I want to touch that painting in the main room. There's a painting with a light of an outline around it that I want to fuck with, right? But I can't because every time I go in the room, Dracula's like fucking guarding it, like a little bitch baby. All right. It's another one of the frames, I think, for the outside puzzle. Yeah, it is. I'm curious where the other... The painting is a different frame. Maybe I can remove it with something strong. Use acid. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. All right, we got- I think we probably got all the frames, right? I'm gonna tell you now, I'm gonna run into one of them. Like, at full fucking speed. At some point playing this. I mean, I guess that already happened. I turned around into Lilith, right? He has two lives, by the way! Oh, God. Yeah, I don't think I can damage her. That's a shame. But hey, at least I got progress. Holy shit, that was a bit intense. So I looked it up. You actually can beat Lilith. You need to take six photos of her. And she'll die. Which sounds challenging, I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> Unfortunately for me, I do think we need to go and do the library puzzle now. Went the wrong way. Because, uh... Well, I just think you need to do it to progress. Which sucks, but it's the name of the game. Doing it, getting to a save point afterwards, that's going to be challenging, like, genuinely, I think. You can save just before here, which is good. We've confirmed that she can't go in the safe rooms. I'd hope the two shots I already did to her carry over, if that makes sense. Because if they don't, I'm probably, I'm probably fucked. Where the fuck are the ghosts? There's one there. I mean, I hear bats. There we go.
God damn it, it's too far away. Wasting pictures is really bad in this, I feel. I don't even know if we're going to get more at any point. Anyway, the enemies stay dead. So once they're dead, they're dead. They're out the game. So, we can render areas safe, or well, safe er, because we can't stop Dracula. By doing this kind of shit. I'm pretty sure the puzzle in here is to do with pulling books. You know what I mean? Like, the bookcase, like, the generic, sort of... It's the same one from the... I didn't, I didn't look at an angry painting. Let's deal with this bat if I can. Alright. But I think it's timed, this, unfortunately. So we're going to have to learn their locations. Ah! Are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking asshole. I'm going to go back and save because I feel like we got the bats down. Obsessive saving the playthrough. The video game. I think everything's dead now. It looks like if you die, by the way, and then come back, you get your health back. So that's actually kind of useful to know. Which one is it? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's the- it's- it's Drac. He's such a dickhead. He really is. He thinks he's so fucking good. He thinks he's so fucking good patrolling around his castle. Jesus. Alright, so yeah, anyway, we got to find the books. I don't know how many books there are, though. Uh, I think Dracula just went off. I hope so. I mean, if he didn't, it's not the end of the world. I, I did just save. So who fucking cares? Finding these books is going to be hard. So there's three on the bottom floor and one on the top. So we found the one on the top. But the three on the bottom... Nothing is jumping out to me, I'm going to be honest. Well, there's one. We've got to do it in a time limit though, so... We've got to actually find them all. One... What the fuck? Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, two. So there's one on each side there. I can hear Dracula again. He's gonna come and kill me. But at least we know where two of them are now. All right, here's the back ones, okay. I've lost the place of the one on this side already. Are you fucking kidding me? Here. He's up there. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm dead. Oh, it's her. Maybe I can just kill her. Alright! We're gonna do the book puzzle again. It's gonna go and save. Because we eliminated one of the permanent threats. So there's only Dracula left now. That makes life a lot easier. Lilith is exercised in a big pile of jam. Only got 14 shots left though, which is a little bit worrying. But, I'm very happy about that. One of the greatest achievements of my life, guys. Probably better than my wedding day, I'm gonna be honest. Don't tell Chris I said that. Where the fuck was it? 
Oh my god, where the fuck was the last one? There. And then upstairs. I think I'm going to be too slow, but we'll see. Definitely too slow. Unless there's more and uh, the walkthrough I found is lying to me. I don't know, it seems pretty re a pretty reasonable amount of time. I have a really bad memory, if you guys didn't notice. Oh my god, where the fuck is it? There we go. Solve the library mystery. Alright, we have a new door opened up. Excellent. Don't know where that is. But let's go and save. I think Dracula just came in. Well, maybe not. Well, whatever. We're in the safe room now. Puzzle site. Puzzle done. <clears throat> One thing I will say is that the health indicator on screen is completely unreasonable. You actually can get hit like three or four times by the bats before you die, but one hit makes it look like you're hemorrhaging. Which is so strange. Alright, time to start exploring the rest of this fucking place, because we haven't really had much of a chance yet. Especially the upstairs. And with only one threat left, hopefully that makes life a lot easier. I mean, I know there's going to be ghosts and bats and shit, but like... Alright, this is what we opened up. Might as well go in here first, I guess. Any enemies in here? This looks really ominous, doesn't it? Looks like there's an empty space for a music sheet. Oh, okay, so we need to find a music sheet. Why was that like a totally different font to the previous everything? I feel this looks like a massive trap, doesn't it? I got an immortality coin. Hi! Ah! Oh, that counted as a hit? Okay, but the immortality coin... Okay. I understand. Oh, this is another safe room. We got all the letters, apparently. There isn't many. There are no more happiness than having our master here. I hope your faithful servants see the letter. I'm leaving it in rooms where only we meet. If he's killing the castle servants one by one, killing his own kind, Serena was against him and left the castle. I don't know why he's doing this. We've always been loyal. We've always served him wholeheartedly, he and his wives. Sometimes I hear him laughing and saying we are weak, that we are not fit for purpose. We have to get together and think about how we, do we are going to escape. Maybe one at a time. I don't know what to do, I'm afraid. <coughs> well, I don't know. We only have 12 pictures left, guys. Holy shit. I feel like this is completely unreasonable. Looks like a new castle, apparently. These look like little men. I don't like it. But yeah, I'm guessing that is all the safe rooms. I see a ghost in that room over there. Oh wow, this room's fucking huge! Holy shit! Oh, 
Oh my god, it's massive. What am I even doing? Do I need to make them face the pictures? That kind of makes sense. But like... Are there any of these of the moon? It doesn't seem to be. Why are there just like pictures on easels just like floating around? I'm guessing you need to make them face the moon pictures, but I don't know. And there's only two moon pictures. So maybe three facing each one? So we'll turn this one... Now that should be right. And then this one... Oh yeah! Alright, that was a lot easy actually. A lot easy. I'm glad my English is shaping up nicely. This is gonna spawn anyways, like a shitload of them. Monster coin. Come on! Maybe it won't? Well, regardless, the save point is just around the back the other way, so let's go and save. Because we solved a puzzle and got a coin. I'm guessing these coins are important for something? Don't actually know what. But we seem to be making decent progress. Once we run out of film, then we're totally fucked. But until then, we're good. Until then, I can keep pretending that I'm on top of everything. I really hope there's more film in the level, in the game. Maybe more heals. I've got a feeling the answer will be no to both of those, though. Like, why would Dracula have film looking around his castle? The answer is, I have no fucking idea. Most of these puzzles have been pretty good, by the way, so far. Like, pretty self-explanatory, no big deal. Got the sheet music. Excellent. Should I not kill them if they're not coming for me, do you think? Do you think I've, I might have fucked myself here? I'm hoping we get infinite film for Dracula. That'll be good. <clears throat> well, he's just standing there. He's probably lamenting the fact that his wife is dead. The other one, I think, I think it said in the the other one fucked off, but I don't know. I feel like Lilith is like the one that was meant to be behind all this. But she's dead now. She's at well, what? Deader. A big jammy sticky pile on the floor now is all she is. Alright, so we have the sheet music. Dracula's in the foyer just sort of cackling to himself like some kind of deranged lunatic. And, uh... <coughs> everything seems to be coming together quite well. But yeah, this is, uh, I actually really like this so far. I think this is actually really good. The camera mechanics work well, the puzzles are good, layout's good, the appropriate amount of tension. Play the piano. Oh, I see. This kind of sucks, but I see what they're going for.
Hey, and it's the last picture frame we need. Oh my god, I just noticed our character for the first time. We're such a fucking nerd. And another coin. Alright, well we did another puzzle. Another coin, another thing sorted out. I think we've got all the bits now for the outside courtyard puzzle. A puzzle I'm a little wary about doing, because I feel like if Dracula shows up while you're doing it, you're just boned. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely fucking dead as a fucking doornail, I'm going to be honest with you. Anyway. Um... <coughs> I guess we'll just like head to the fountain where the that puzzle is. At least I'm pretty sure it was out there by the fountain. You can't jump, otherwise I throw myself off the balcony. Which I think would be rather entertaining. I feel like this is gonna get a bit spicy if Dracula is not stuck in the lobby like I think he might be. Definitely made <clears throat> it a lot less stressful killing Lilith. Definitely worth the like six pictures it took or whatever. <coughs> Alright. Let's see if he comes and gets me while I'm doing it. Just save, so if he does, it's not actually a big deal. What am I doing? Oh, now let's do this again. So, what is this? The sky was overcast and the moon was nowhere to be seen. There were dark clouds over the hills and the valley below was like a vast abyss. So, valley... Dark clouds, and the moon furthest away from this point. No, that's just dark clouds again, right? And the moon furthest away. Yeah. Alright, that's not too bad. Whoa! Exciting! I think that's another excitement. Solve the fountain puzzle. Hell yeah! Another coin! I think we might have all the coins now. I don't actually know. If we do, we need to start trying to climb the towers in the main lobby, which, I'm going to be honest with you, could be easier said than done. <clears throat> if he's standing there, definitely easier said than done. But we'll try. We just saved, got the coin. That was pretty nice, simple puzzle. Not too bad. Not too bad. The book one took me a bit of time. What is this guy? I can hear him fucking stumbling around like some drunken dervish. But I've no idea what he's doing. Alright, he saw me. Immediately then. Probably dead here, but that's okay. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. He's an idiot. Amidst shadows, a brave knight stood, his sword ablaze, facing the abyss where a monster lurks, guarding the path to immortality. Oh, for fuck's sake. What the fuck? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what order this is. So let's read that one more time. A, a, a brave knight stood, his sword ablaze, Facing the abyss where a monster lurked. So what coins do we have? <clears throat> well. So 
Soldier, sword. Immortality monster. Soldier, sword. Monster immortality. There we go. Got there in the end. Solve the coin puzzle. This is the room they were all hanging out in earlier. Dracula and his ladies. Oh no, a clock puzzle. Fuck. <laughs> Hell gods, accept my sacrifice of innocent blood, made with determination at the darkest hour determined by your deities. I'm gonna be honest with you, I expected more of this room. Than just a fucking clock. There is a hand- oh for fuck's sake, I haven't got the fucking thing. Is there anything actually here? Oh for fuck's sake, there's a key. Guest room key, that's probably the other tower. Gotta survive first! Which might not be the easiest thing. Because he's around. All right. First things first, I'm gonna go safe. I'm sorry, everyone. I know, I know, I know. But we have the key. And if he is gonna camp that area, it is gonna get spicy, because it's quite an enclosed space. So we're gonna save with the key and the door puzzle done. The clock puzzle isn't done yet because we need the fucking hand, which I'm guessing is in the guest bedroom. I'm optimistic it's in the guest bedroom anyway. And by the way, we came here for a coat, right? I have not seen a coat. Do we need to find a coat to get like a good ending? Shit, I probably should have checked the servants' quarters more. Oh, uh, mind you, this is the key to the guest bedroom, right? So like. Maybe? This is alright? Right, if he's up here, I'm fucked. Alright, that's the that's the guest bedroom. I'm, gu I'm guessing this is the guest bedroom. I mean, it's a bedroom. Oh, it's a jacket! There we go! I got it! Hell yeah, we get to keep a job with our shit boss after we risked our life for a new story. Well, I don't see sh Was that all that's in here? No clock hand? Can we climb these? Nah, we can't jump, so... It's alright, we'll just take our time. There's got to be something else in here other than the jacket. Like, something to progress. It's got to be the clock hand. I thought I heard him come in the room. I mean, even... Oh my god, I look right at it. Clock hand. It looks like a tie. Alright, so we have the clock hand and we have the jacket. I think I'm getting freaked out by my own footsteps a lot in this. What's up here? I don't actually know. Alright, I don't actually know what I'm going to be doing with the clock though. It's probably going to do with that rhyme. Install clock hand. The darkest hour determine your desires. So is it just going to be said it? Oh, the, it said 420. Hilarious. Four. H amazing. We've opened the basement. 
All right, so before we go down there, let's save one last time. I'm guessing we need to go down there to deal with the crystals, though. Do what the servant was doing at the beginning before they got absolutely fucked. Those deaths in this, by the way. Fucking thumbs up. I fucking love the deaths in this. I thought they were just really good. Just really good shit. Need more horrific deaths like that in video games. Like, I've played quite a lot of games this month with, like, really good gory deaths, actually. Alright, so. We did this. We got the coat. Time to go in the basement, and hopefully we'll see what happens. I'm guessing it's going to be quite stressful, this final fight in the basement. Just got a feeling. Let's go around this way. Although I wouldn't be surprised if it was just what we did originally, but would... Oh, there's ghosts. I never noticed this, what, these before out here. I should probably save my film. There's no point in fighting people if I don't have any fi if I have the film. All right, now where am I going? Basement. I feel this looks different to last time. I'm not even sure if this is where I need to go. Press is going nuts because someone rang my doorbell. It's okay. For the record, I never, ever, 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 ever answer my door. Under any circumstances to anyone. Like, especially at the moment, because I'm under quarantine at the moment, which kind of sucks, but, um. Alright, Dracula's down here with me now. Hey, hey guys, how does Dracula light the way at Halloween? He uses a Dracula lantern? Come on, that's good. That was very good, right? I hear his Pete's. Well, he's going the other way, so uh, that's good. We still need one more gem. I feel the layout of this has remarkably changed since we last did it. He saw me, but I got the last gem. Now the question is, where the fuck is the fucking portal now? I think it's down here on the right. Well, at least I thought it was, but it, it, maybe it's not anymore? Because it is different to what it was as a servant. I really hope this is it. It is. What have I achieved? What did this do? I'm very confused. What do I need to do now? Lure him here, maybe? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna make the assumption, because I can't find any fucking, like, information on the internet, that I need to lure him in.
which sucks. Because I need to find him and kite him. Dracula! Chan! Alright, there he is. Come on. If I get stuck, I'm dead. I think it worked. Purge Dracula. Hell yeah! That was fun. I wonder where you got that jacket identical to the man in the newspaper, but no, no, no. I'll keep my promise. You can keep your jobs with a small pay cut. Oh, I guess there's different endings, by the way. But I did it. I got the normal ending. I really enjoyed this. I thought this was a lot of fun. Some really cool little features and really cool little things to see. Just a really fun little Fatal Frame clone. I, I definitely recommend it, especially if you want to see some of the other endings. Like, this was... This was really good. Like, genuinely some of the most fun I've had in a while playing one of these games. So, uh, yeah, I really liked it. I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I, I liked it that much. Like, I genuinely thought it was great. Uh, just a decent run... The runtime's good, especially if there's, like, other stuff to see and do, like, on top of this. Like, good price, good design, fun puzzles, fun combat, fun deaths like even though there was like the save points were there like they were they were fine they were in fact they kind of just added to the tension perfectly it made things just really smooth i really fucking like dracula awakens is what i'm saying if you guys enjoyed it make sure you leave a like on the video let me know what you thought of this one in the comment section is this the best fatal frame clone we've seen like it might be like dread out is good but it's it's pretty jank and this didn't really have any jank it seemed to like be fully functional which I'm quite surprised by. But it is simpler than Dread Out 2. Like, it's less ambitious in what it does. So, it's hard to say. But I thought this was really decent and really enjoyable. Um, if you enjoyed the stuff as well, consider pledging to our Patreon. I think at the time of recording, we need four more subs for the month's goal. Please consider pledging. It helps us out so much and allows this channel to keep existing, pretty much. So, pledge. Even a dollar will go towards that goal. Just have a look. Link in the description. There's lots of different rewards there. And maybe, just maybe, you can become an elite tier nomkin. Anyway, thanks guys. Uh, I will see you really soon. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this spooky dooky Dracula Awakens game. There may be some bonus stuff in this video. I haven't decided yet. But uh, if there is, well, I'll let you know. You'll see it straight after this, obviously. Thanks for listening. And that was Dracula Awakens.